Good evening, and welcome to the pilot episode of Crowd Pond Central. I'm Vlad. I'm Dean. And we watched a lot of Anchorman 1 and 2 to make this video. A good sequel, I must add. It is a good a sequel. A damn good we sequel. We really liked it. It's fantastic! But Vlad, tell me, what is crowdpondent.com? I've been hearing a lot about it lately. It's actually amazing, and you shall be hearing more, and stay tuned. Because Crowdpondent is a network that we've been building for the last year of street journalists and citizen correspondents. And we're collecting their hard labor, we're taking their sweat, and we're turning it into a weekly broadcast just for you. We're showing you stuff from around the world to try and inform, and hopefully, hopefully we'll learn a thing or two and maybe have a laugh along the way. Absolutely. What's on the agenda for today? Today we're going to talk about independence. Day. Starring Will Smith. Yeah. Not exactly. No. We're going to talk but about I mean, independence and the breaking of the European state. And mainly and with the hot Other spot. places across the world as well. Cameroon, if you've yeah. heard about this. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of independence movements springing up all over the place. But we're focusing on Catalonia today, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Because it's, for the past week, it's a hot spot and brewing grounds of an, an amazing historic moment. Historic indeed, but tell us more about history yeah. of the area. Let's do a breakdown of the most important things that you need to know about Catalonia. First off, it's the historical there is a history. dimensions of, the, of what's happening right now. Yes. First off, Catalonia is one of the richest and most industrially developed uh, provinces of Spain. Of which there are 17. 17. You nice. heard it here first. <laughs> Educating the people, giving them the facts. The thing is, the distinct Catalonian history dates back over a thousand years. That's why culturally and historically they distinct themselves from the Spanish. Mm. So there, you know, there's a lot of lot of animosity about the lack of autonomy. But the, as we have mentioned, the 17 provinces are all somewhat autonomous, and Catalonia has, and I read this on the internet, has control over education, health, and some infrastructure, including policing and prisons. And not only that, they actually have their own foreign policy, so long yeah. as it doesn't interfere with the government prerogative. And that is pretty cool for any state. Yeah, that doesn't make I, wouldn't, any sense, I wouldn't mind but my own it foreign is. policy. It is. As we have said just moments ago, Catalonia and Catalonians distinct themselves Catalonians, from. Catalonians, you say? Aren't they Catalonians? Catalonian? Catalonian? I said Catalonian. Catalan. 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 They distinct themselves immensely from the rest of the Spanish population. And that comes also. Co that is also cultural. That is culture. Because almost all schools in Catalonia, I think, <laughs> I read in a book. <laughs> we, uh, we've not been to every school. Taught in Catalan. In Catalan. Or Catalonian. Catalonian. I'm not now, sure. Even if the kids have Spanish as their native Please tongue. Please tell us more about it. Which way is it? If you're Spanish, Catalonian, Catalonian, Catalan. Please tell us which one is This correct. could be the next big debate in the region. It is. It is. Who knows? But the way I see it, Vlad, I think it all comes down to the big bad wolf money. Oh! There we go. Uh, yeah, let's talk numbers on this one, because is this whole thing just about money? Okay, so Catalonia, it's the we... GDP is estimated at $312 billion by the OECD. Um, and they, they give uh, more, they give 10, mil 10 billion, you explain this much better than I do, 10 billion more than they receive, correct? Not exactly. The flexibility that they give... Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the <laughs> they give. <laughs> <laughs> so the taxability, Vlad, tell me more. Basically, the taxes that the Catalonians give to the Spanish... <laughs> Catalonian? <laughs> Basically, the taxes that the Catalan people give to the Spanish government come down to this. They give between 10 and 12 billion more than, than they get in and spendable yeah. funds. Yeah. And the Catalonian... Government. And that's important. 
It's very important. Money is, is very important. It is. And the Catalonian government estimates that after independence, they're actually going to receive 42 billion euros in taxation, which is... That's, that's more, right? That's ridiculous. I'm There's no mathematician, like... but that's a lot of money. It is. But is it worth it? We're going to find Depends. out. Depends. For some people, it does. For some, it does. We can't gonna, decide. We've we got to get out, out there and find out. We're going to speak to some people, aren't we? Absolutely we are. And that's why we have our friends, our crowd pundits, our street journalists and citizen correspondents. And of course, if you want to get involved, just head over to crowdpondent.com. Check us out. And stay tuned. In just a few seconds, we are going to get this done. So now we're going to speak to some uh, some young folks who are living in Madrid to see what their their take on this whole thing is. So first up, we've got Alejandro. Could you tell us what was the situation just before the first of October, before the referendum, and what you personally saw or felt after the referendum was done? And as we see, it was quite quite an interesting situation. Yeah, you know, like I I think it was a disgrace, honestly. Uh, although most people in Spain at this moment are like looking at it uh, from the point of view of, of, of the Spanish nation, I think how the police behave uh, in the in Catalonia was a disgrace uh, because they were just trying to vote, um, and I don't think it was fair to to behave that way towards them. So I mean, how how did it sort of affect you guys in Madrid specifically? You know, away from Catalonia. Like right now, how it affects me yeah. uh, more deadly is how the Spanish nationalism is growing. Uh, I think uh, the the political views of, of of people in Madrid and in Spain in general are moving to the right because of this, and this affects me directly, obviously, because it uh, makes uh, the support for the Conservative Party grow. Do you, su do you support the Conservative Party? Sorry. Are you uh, are you a conservative man yourself? No, that's that's the, the main reason why 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 it annoys me. But it's not it's not it's not only the, the conservative views in general. It's the nationalism or the patriotism, as we say in Spain. Like I don't think it's a good thing for Spain to to get this movement. Like we avoided it. Like in Europe, you have in Germany, in, in France, in the UK, even in in the Netherlands, you have this uh, nationalist movement. We were avoiding them, and I think Catalonia is 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 going to be a uh, it's going to trigger uh, a movement like that in Spain, and I'm concerned about that. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Alejandro. Thanks so yeah. much, Alejandro. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Bye. But let's hear from some other students there. Absolutely. Surely that's not the only opinion, an opinion around. Yes, let's get more people in, more people from the crowd. This is why we're doing this, this crowd pond in Central. Who have we got next? Uh, Brought to you by the crowd for the crowd. Next up, we've got Fernando, another student in Madrid, living the good life, I assume. It's probably a lot warmer than, than it is here. Yep. Let's, 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 let's speak to him, see what's going on. Can you tell us how do you think it happened? Uh, what uh, was the escalation uh, about? Because before the polls on the 1st of October, 50, it was basically 50-50 uh, against and for independence. And after that, you know, some sources in the government in Catalonia are saying 90% of people voted for independence. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, this issue, ha this issue has become international now, and it's been going on for decades, probably in Spain. And the thing is, as you said, that there, there, there is still probably a, a let's say, 50-50 divide. And after the referendum, the government said that 90% of the people vote yes, but taking into account that probably most of the people who participated in the referendum were people who were pro-independence, because the referendum, was, as you may know, was not legal according to the constitutional court, so those numbers are a little bit sketchy, let's say. Because they, I don't think, from my point of view, that they represent the whole opinion there. In Catalonia. That's, that's a pretty big accusation there. Do you have, I mean... Where's the proof? That's what exactly I said. Exactly. Like, what are they... Okay, it's Catalonia wants to be independent, but independent from what? Would there be a difference? Is it that much different? Do they drink different cerveza from you? You know, what's the deal? Well, I mean, depends who you ask. I mean, it's a really complex setting because, as I said, this nationalist movement in Catalonia has been going on probably for centuries. I mean, we had a civil war over this in the 30s at the end of the day. It was one of the reasons about it. So, yeah, I mean, the, 
depends on who you are. Some of people, according to some independent people, they 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 are oppressed by the central government and therefore they want to rule themselves. According to other people, it is a problem just that as they are one of the rich regions of Spain, they want more, let's say, more control over their money and to not give money or to not redistribute their money towards less wealthy regions. So it's a complex issue because it's a mix between money, culture, political impetus. It's really, really complex. Depends what you ask, I would say. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. For out. Awesome to have you, man. And, you know, we hope that everything resolves peacefully yeah. and everybody's, you know, back at the beach because we know you have, we are very That's, envious of your weather. Yeah. You know, everybody goes back back to the beach, you know, drinking. Yeah. We'll you know, try and pass Pilates. on the message, right? Yeah. We'll do our best. Hope we'll visit soon, you yeah. know, for holidays or something if we got money. So, Ines, right, what's what's going on in Madrid? What, what's What's your take on the whole shebang going on? Are there any demonstrations at all? Are people going out? Are they expressing how they feel? Are cars you know, being set on fire? You know, are there bar fights? <laughs> you know, more than usual. More than usual. But, yes, yeah. they are. They are demonstrating in both sides, agree and against. Uh, I mean, just walk walk in the streets, you can see Spanish flags. That's not the really normal thing to see in Spain. Yeah. Uh, that that they are saying, well, we prefer them to stay. And even Catalonia flags in the windows in the houses, so you can you can see those things, and and they also did demonstrations for uh, like demonstrate they they support and they agree with Catalonia people. I mean they relate the right to choose. Hello, can you hear us? Hello. I can see you guys. Well, I can hear you. Mom. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, it's it, fate has split us up anyway. Yeah. And finally, somebody who is going to talk with us straight from the hotspot of Europe right now, in the center of Catalonia, we have our friend Yanni. What better person to ask than a Finnish technocrat who is actually working for the Public Diplomatic Council of Catalonia, that's right. He has been lobbying hard for independence. So, Yanni, you are a Finnish national who's gone to Catalonia to stoke the fires of nationalism, is that correct? Uh, well, first of all, I have to correct that. Uh, I don't have a position on independence. And, uh, oh, uh, sure you so don't, yeah, uh, okay. have a position on that, so, so we're not the Catalan government. We are a public private organization. Okay. Do you think it's possible that the independence will, you know, would become a reality and we will be looking at another new European state? Because in the last couple of days, even the European, you know, not, not just the central government in uh, Madrid has been, you know, disclaiming the, the vote. Then two days ago, the European Commission declared the vote as illegal. You know, there's not a lot of, it's you know, looking likely, solidarity internationally, and yet, you know, you... Well, there's, uh, there, there, are several, there are different kinds of uh, statements and uh, opinions by international actors. Uh, the, the, the most uh, common uh, view is that uh, the, the police action is criticized and yeah, uh, yeah. dialogue is called, and as you mentioned, uh, the... It's, uh, the, the referendum is not supported uh, or uh, the, the big European parties uh, en encourage also that uh, uh, Catalonia doesn't do anything uh, the declaration of independence or, or something li like that. But uh, we have to remember that there's this call for dialogue and that, that is both actors. Uh, the, the Spanish government needs to, if, if, if the Catalan government is willing to uh, accept international mediation, abandon the immediate declaration of independence and uh, start working for some kind of solution, uh, Spain yeah, needs okay. to yeah, take, I mean, take that up a lot, as yeah. well. And you asked about uh, the uh, possibility of independence, it's, uh, it's definitely possible at some uh, time frame. But, uh, Okay. Okay, we're losing. We're losing you, Yanni. Operation. Independence. 
soon. We're going to have to stop you there. We're running out of, out of time on the clock. Uh, at least... Uh, <laughs> he's unstoppable. For example, the Catholic Church. Okay. Some other politics. Yeah. For them, uh, I, I don't under I didn't understand a one word you said. Okay, so that was that was interesting hearing from Yanni, uh, but I think it's time we hear from some actual Catalan people. You may have noticed my co-host is no longer with me. He just couldn't handle it. The less we know about that, the better. Uh, but let's let's jump right into. Let's speak to Neo, who is born and raised from Catalonia. Hi, Neo. Hello. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. What are you hoping to ha that will happen? Well, there's. Uh... This is a, a tricky question. I, I we ask I the tricky questions here, Neo. Sure, uh, for sure, for sure. But this this is the time to ask them. I think that uh, I hope that uh, everything will just go to the, the nice way. I think I think probably there there are many solutions for uh, to solve this situation. But of course, we we will fight for our rights and we will fight peacefully. So I think there's no chance of violence no. from Catalonia. That's this good. is impossible. Yeah, we heard... Probably s could be some repression from the state, but I think the best solution would be an agreement. For example, a referendum agreed with Spain, with the support of Europe or okay. someone that is powerful enough to guarantee that people are safe. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you say you, you hope for the for the nice situation. I think. What exactly is that? Are you are you hoping for an independent Catalonia? Yes. Yes. Honestly, it's it's something that we have been lasting for a long time. It's uh, there are a lot of things that uh, you don't know because the press and the media will not. Uh, well, that's why just... that's why we're here speaking to you, Nia. We want to find out what they don't know. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think people are more reliable than the press or the media. Yeah. So uh, what is it? What is it they're missing that you that, that we we supposedly don't know? There are a lot of things. I think that there. We've got a long time. Been, there have been a lot of crimes and terrible crimes even uh, from the Spanish government. Not the people. We, we don't have anything against the people of Spain, but they have uh, a lot of um, the heritage from the Frankism. That is still there. It is still Ooh, there. Spicy and they accusations. Have never, never been judged. This oh. is like it's 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 a situation where we have been exploded. We have been uh, deprived of uh, our human rights. The, the the expression of vote, the the right to be in peace. And I think this is not uh, allowable. But do you not think that the a referendum would be a, is illegal then, according to Spanish law? Yeah, according to, it's not the law, it's the constitution. It's a constitution that they made after when Franco died, they made, uh, you know, a constitution with all the parties and the, the, the army was just uh, paying alert to them with, with their arms pointing. So it's, it's a difficult constitution to be relying on because it has something that if you read that, it's, it's, it's not like the United States Constitution. It's, no. not, it's not for freedom. It's more for repression. And it says a lot of things about unity of Spain, impossible to break. But, but it doesn't say anything for, for the rights of the people. And this is, this, this is why we wanted to make a referendum. Okay. And they, they said that it was not constitutional. No, okay. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Until next time. For our last interview of the evening is Cameron Rogers. Hi. He has been fresh out on the streets on a fact-finding mission, but mm -hmm. more on that later. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can only go so fast as my fingers can make me. Uh, <laughs> oops. So we're on, we're on line now with David Playman, um, uh, who is Catalonian and didn't vote in the referendum. So let's kick things off. Um, why didn't you vote? <clears throat> well, because... Um... I, 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 I didn't feel represented by, by this. Okay, yeah. But do you not see it as your democratic duty to, to vote in such an important issue? Or do you think if both sides, like, like you're saying, if you, both sides don't represent you, there's no point? There's no point. And uh, my democratic right, uh, since, since we live in a democracy, I have the right to vote 
and not to vote. So voting, it's a right, not a, not a, a must. Okay. Okay. But uh, that number one and number two, um, it was nonsense to vote because uh, it was it was not part of the part of the democratic <coughs> game. So I mean, for both reasons, for these two reasons, I did not vote. But so if it wasn't part of the so-called democratic game, surely if you to sort of counteract its impact, wouldn't a uh, voting of no have, you know, balanced it out? Uh, no, because everybody knew that the, the majority in that referendum was going to be yes. Everybody knew this. But then, so just to, just to clarify, why, why is it you wouldn't have voted yes? It's, I think it's just common sense. Um, I'm, not an, I'm not an economist. Mm -hmm. No. I just, listen, I just listen to economists. I just listen to experts. And it's not that I know. It's not that I say it. It's, it's they are saying it, that, yeah. that, that the independence will be a total economical disaster. And it's not a, it's, this is not an opinion. This is a fact. Yeah. And the proof is that the independence has not been declared well, that's what it seems, because we don't know yet what's happening. Yeah. Um, and and already, I think, 150, 200, I don't know what number of companies have already left yeah. Catalonia. They have, actually. This yeah. is not a game. This is a fact. Yeah, there's which a lot means, of... Which means that, that at, at, to an economical level, it's, it's, a, it's a total disaster. Yeah. So... If independence is such a, an obvious, you know, self-destructive act, why is it that your your fellow Catalonians are so in favour of it? Well, that's the big question. It and is. We ask the big questions here. Yes. Yes, we and, do. Um, when things work. I need. I. I, I think I need uh, two hours to explain that. Ah. Okay. Well, we have uh, but, thirty seconds. Yeah. Correct. So I'll say. I'll say. I'll say. Uh, Something that doesn't happen only here in Barcelona or in Catalonia or in Spain. It happens everywhere. That's the problem of democracy because there is a political game and people do not vote for reasons. They vote for feelings. Yeah. And, so. and that has a lot of negative consequences. Yeah. Because, because again... Um, it's it's the same old story when when there's when there's when there's some elections when there's several political parties explaining their projects and everything else who reads the program of each one of them nobody everybody just votes on oh i like this one or well, i think they told me that he's going to do this i i heard they said they're going to do this you know everything is it's, it's so emotional yeah and that's why Two million people are really mad right now in Catalonia. Yeah, there are a lot of similarities between this and Brexit. Actually, yeah. Just oh, moving... totally, totally, absolutely. It's the same thing. That's why I say it. it's 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 not here. It's just in Spain. It's everywhere. Yeah, just uh, m moving on to um, slightly more personal. Yeah, slightly more personal. So, uh, did any of your family vote in the referendum? And did any of your family or friends even vote yes? And has there been a sort of schism or any tensions in the relationships between? like your family or friend groups as a result of their voting? I do have some friends who's, it's, it's, it's a family, it's, and, 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 and the, the thing is, it's, a, it's um, the mother, mm -hmm. uh, it's a family. Uh, There's a mother in the family. Three, three, three kids, three kids. Three kids, okay, okay. Right. Kids You're getting a really nice age. picture of this family now. Mm. No, no, what I'm saying is, is that it's, it's, my, it's, it's friends of my mom, um, that I also know, and, yeah. and their kids have, are my age. So basically, what happened is that um, they already had a fight the other day at home because uh, Mama is pro-independence, yeah. Papa it's not pro-independence. And it seems like the, my mom told me about this because they were watching TV the other day, and then, and then the dad was watching some, some pro United Spain channel, yeah. and then uh, the son said, Dad, what are you doing watching this? Turn it off. And then the dad exploded like 
this is my home, and then my home, we, we watch whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> Jesus. So, there you go, a fight wow. within the family. Yeah. See, this is just, this is what the other networks aren't, aren't Again, getting out Again, a there. lot of similarities between yeah. Brexit and, uh, and this. And Catalonia. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, well, that was a very interesting and informative interview with Davide there. It was good to hear from the other Spanish slash Catalonian slash I don't even know what to call it anymore. But if I understand, you went out and prepared a report of some description, correct? I did. I went out to the streets of London to ask some Londoners some pressing questions. Let's check it out. He'll, he'll just keep going. Now that we've covered all the uh, goings on with Catalonia, I've come to Portobello Road, one of the most multicultural areas in London, to find out what Londoners think of uh, independence for this great city. What the national dish would look like, what the national anthem would be, and whether we would have grounds to deport Boris Johnson. If London could be independent, how would you how would you vote? From yes what? or no? From, uh... from the from from England, just London as its own little Singaporean esque city state. Do you want London to be independent? Planning to be independent. Well, my answer is we need to show food free, please. Listen. Ah, right. Well, we, that could be one of the policies. <laughs> if London was independent, what would the national anthem be? Oh, no idea, sorry. And all shut up by Skepta. Shut, shut, definitely shut, shut down. Shut, shut down. down and, you know, like. Yeah, that's it. Not shut up, but shut down. No, 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 shut down. Like, I love fucking Skepta. Song that everybody knows. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yeah. We all live in a. Uh, multicultural London. <laughs> Jazz off the lyrics a bit. More importantly, national anthem. God save the Queen. Still God save the Queen. Yeah, she lives here to be fair, so it makes sense, it makes sense. Do you think any of these albums are the official albums of an independent London? <laughs> London Calling or Shut Down by Skepta? Shut Down. There you go. That's unanimous. <laughs> Everyone can agree on that. <laughs> London Calling? London's burning. London. London. Hey, wow. that's new. That's a new contender. Okay, fine. Well, should she be an ambassador? Oh, for sure. For sure. All right, perfect. What would the a national dish of London be? Pine mash or fish and chips? Pine mash. Pine mash. Pine mash. Pine mash. Yeah. Like eels. Well, eels a bit strong. Fish. Fish or chips or pine mash for the national dish. No clue. No clue? No clue. Fish and chips? Yeah. Not pine mash. That's from London. Fish and chips is from Scotland. Oh, yeah. It's a national dish of an independent London. Um, baked potatoes? Baked potatoes, yeah, nice. Okay, that's new. Pile mash, pine mash for fish and chips is a national dish. Oh, Pine mash, with eels or without? With eels, it's real good. And final question, do you think the Bank of England will be turned into a giant coffee shop? Eventually by Starbucks. Eventually by Starbucks and yeah. not by the, the occupants of Shoreditch? No? Starbucks. In, in the independent London. Starbucks is going to be the ruler. What, 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 what is that about? Like, what you guys representing? What is that, that latest? For the people. That's what I'm about. All about people. Nice. There we, you go. We, so this is the right side of you. Basically, we are the people. We are the people. We are the people, and we are representing Portobello as we are still, you know, fly high, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. We shut down this place. We don't stop. We don't stop. We love that. Have a nice day, guys. Have a nice day. Take care. Take care. Oh wow, okay, so uh, thank you for that, Cam, that very entertaining but ultimately pointless piece of news. Welcome. Thank you very much. It wasn't exactly necessary, but it was fun. Mm. Uh, I hope you liked it. And that's life. <laughs> yeah. but let's, let's talk about what we've learned today, Cam. Um, to play devil's advocate, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I think Catalonia should push for independence. Stoking the fires of instability, Cam. For what, exactly? Well, if you look at the referendums, both the referendums, one happened in 2014 as well, and that was declared void by the Spanish government. Unsurprisingly. Um, unsurprisingly. Have uh, you read the Constitution, Cam? I haven't read Neither the Spanish Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's written by, you know, in pretty... pretty uh, they were very scared about instability at the time. Yes, and look what's in happening Spanish. now. 
instability I assume it in was Spanish, happening. in yeah. Catalan. Um, so both referendums, the yes vote was 92%. Mm. The turnout was around 40, in the 40s. I'm not entirely sure. And just judging from that, that's reason in itself to grant Catalonia independence. The people want it. There's quite clearly a movement for it that's strong. And what about the rest of Spain? What about the rest of Spain? Two fingers up, you're on your own. We've well, got I mean, Estrella, and that's all that matters. It's well, it's an amicable divorce, a bit like doesn't bit, look very a bit amicable like Brexit. to me. Yeah, well, that doesn't look very very amicable either. But um, if you think if you're trying to if you think about how this is going to impact Spain, I mean, obviously the economy is one element to it. But if you look at how people live their lives, not much would change by Catalonia as a result of Catalonian independence, exactly. apart from maybe if you have a flock of sheep in Catalonia and you're a shepherd and you're stuck on the Spanish side of the border when independence is declared, like, how are you going to get your sheep When out? are people going to start caring about the shepherds? That's when what are, I want yeah, to know. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to know. Yeah, or if you have family living in Catalonia, like, you have to... Well, they'll both be in the EU, so border checks won't even have... They could have a fluid border, like the North, Northern Ireland mm. and the Republic of well, Ireland. Well, that's, that's, that's a debate for another day. That is a debate for another day, and whether that'll last is a different question in itself. Well, we've um, said enough. We fucking have. Thanks, everyone, for watching. As always, it's not for us two smart asses to try and decide what should happen. It's down to, it's down to you. It's down to the Catalans. Yes, it is. If um, you like what you saw, please hit subscribe and check out some of our other material. We've got documentaries, and if you want to contribute, please fill out the form. Check There's out a video on that as well. Crowdpundit.com. Like all that stuff, all that good stuff. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs>